اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to use ChatGPT to present our descriptive statistics results from SPSS. Let's assume this is my data. I've got three demographic variables here, age, gender and experience. Now I've got other items to measure different constructs as well. So I can ask ChatGPT to give me descriptive statistics or rather interpret the table of descriptive statistics for these items as well. But first, let's start with, with these demographic variables. So how do I get a descriptives for these demographic variables? Now, age in this case here is not in the form of categories. It's, it was asked open-ended, so everybody reported their age. So you can say it's a continuous variable. Gender here is a nominal scale variable. And experience here again, a categorical ordinal variable. Now, sometimes people do ask me, no, you do not change the values here. Does it affect the analysis? And no, it doesn't. It's just for your own understanding. So you can change it here. Let's say this is a scale variable, interval scale. Gender is nominal. And experience, let's say we call it ordinal. Now, let's save it. Now, how do I get the descriptives for this? And let's go and get it for age. Now age, it's a continuous variable, so we're not going to get the frequencies for it. We're going to get descriptives for it. Go to descriptives, age, put it in here. Now go to options. If you want to have any other option like skewness and kurtosis, variance or anything else. For now, I don't want anything. I will just press OK. Now here are my results. So I'm going to copy this table and let's go to chat GPT and ask for it. I have... Uh, demographic variable age in my study. The following are the results for descriptive statistics of age. Can you interpret and report the results from the table in APA style. Give the table and let's see. Now here are or here is the description of age variable in APA style. So you simply need to go here. Let's say my heading in my analysis is demographic profile of respondents. And in there, let's say age, I present it here, the descriptive statistics results are presented in table one. Now let's copy the table. Let's ask ChatGPT if it can format the table as well. Can you format the following table in APA style. Let's see if it can. Let's get the table again. And if it can't, obviously not everything will be done by ChatGPT. You will have to do it on your own as well. Moving on. Not really actually. What we do here, we go back here, paste it here. And now again, I've done it previously in other videos as well. So I'll share that video. So what I'll do is I'll share that video uh, it's pretty simple. Let me do one quickly. Here it is. Right click auto fit to window. Okay. I do not need this. This one's centered here. Let's go. No border, bottom border, top border, and then bottom border again and give the title table one descriptive statistics for age so here is the table in APA style uh, I will share the video please refer to that video if I miss anything 
Now moving on, let's say we've got another variable here. Let's say, let's use a categorical variable. Let's say we use gender. Analyze descriptive statistics. Now we are not going to go for descriptives because gender is a nominal variable. We are going to go for frequencies. Click here, put it in here, press OK and copy. Following is the frequency table for gender. Can you enter? and report it in APA style with a table as well. Let's see what we get. Enter. Here it is. And in this case, we've got some kind of table as well. But not in a proper format of a table. So, so you will have to adjust it as well. But in this case, I'm not interested in the table. I'm more interested in this. Here, so what you can do is just come in here and let's add gender the details and similarly copy the table from SPSS and format it. Similarly, you can go in here and let's say I want to present the descriptive for every item measuring servant leadership. So analyze descriptive statistics, descriptives, put this one back. And here it is. Now, in this case, what I will recommend is that you put labels here as well so that ChatGPT would know, okay, this is what SL1, SL2, SL3, SL4, SL5, SL6, or SL7 means. Now, let me put in those here and ask ChatGPT to give me an interpretation. Now, I've got these items here. So, SL1 is actually my leader can tell if something work related is wrong. So the statement for each of these items is here in the label column. Now let me get the descriptives, analyze descriptive statistics, descriptives, move this one back here, put this one in here, press OK. Now let's copy this and ask ChatGPT what it can do. Can you enter? Print and report the following descriptives table for the items representing servant leadership in APA style. Paste them. Let's see what we get. Now, here it is, but I need some more detail. So let me ask it. Can I have some more detail as to which item had highest and which item had lowest score? Let's see. So this is how you can further probe ChatGPT to give you some more details. Now again, in order to format it, just copy this table into Word document and change its style into AP. Now again, you won't be able to use ChatGPT effectively if you do not know what descriptives are or if you do not know whether to run or go for frequency statistics or descriptive statistics. To do so, obviously, one has to understand the basics of descriptive statistics, which you can do by reading some good books on descriptive statistics. And it can be from any based on any tool. It could be from even Excel or any other statistical tool as well. Thank you very much.